Greetings to everyone, and let us start with setting up our motivation for today. Think that you're listening these Dharma teachings not for the sake of yourself, but rather for the sake of all sentient beings for their benefit. Oh yeah, that go on continuing on the Hanchurji Kugi Chonga de Gava Sangwe Tin Chen Gawagumra. We now rejoice because you had have this precious opportunity to listen to the Dharma teachings. So you are very fortunate. Oh yeah, that was a kissing on my 
Sine Dubiagi Du the the two symbolwa da Tine da Tring da Sine Niwa Sine Dubzudi da Sine Comjavine Gavlata some no cande cande tangure study remember the shiggy or restra. Last time we spoke about the causes that lead us uh, to attaining karma binding. And today we will talk about uh, what to think, what kind of attitude we need uh, while doing this practice. Mm. Lama tending, Lama tending, she near top the Panzanji, my Loma Latri Dangila, and then young tea, no et on a young tea cigar. Young tea, Yoni de la Lobjo Mangucho Mare, what that's all Lama Gay, Nima, Kigma, de Tecom Lap, Lama Gay, de Com, de Com, Gom, 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 and Gom is a senior Mundia, Lama Lashu, and Lame or Dachana. The dishes that Gemma de Gomshus to send in it. Della Nyongti, Sigra, Nyoet, and Nyongti, that day, uh, chair the damaging things on Kabushida is at it. Rahm. So when we start meditating, we need to find a Lama who is fully qualified to teach us how to do that. And it, in Tibetan, it's called Nyongti, which means a type of teachings that are based on experience. So it's not really necessary that um, the person who is teaching you, you know, has to be a scholar, uh, but rather have his own personal and successful experience in what he's teaching. And it's a type of teaching that comes from directly from a lama to a disciple. <clears throat> So a disciple, <clears throat> excuse me, disciple is meditating under the guidance of a lama, and then lama sees that uh, the disciple got the result he was looking for, and he confirms that uh, yes, you can continue your meditation, and you can you can also teach others. <clears throat> so these days, it's quite difficult to find such a. Uh, such a teachings that are based on experience, but uh, these are the ones we're looking for. Yeah, and then when you meditate it's also good to share uh, Gishala used a word to offer but it's probably more about to share about the experience uh, one gets in meditation when you meditate and you uh, feel something you see some results come in and you come to the Lama and say I have such and such experience and Lama confirms whether this experience is uh, concordant with the practice or not uh um da chidan shamba jigla ni shung lwa da kadam shung ba shung la din er wa shung chen din la din ni ani ma nyam ni chidan shamba jig sung yor da tan da tu zu de de shung la din ni shung shung sru wa da lop zin shung de la din ni ani nyam ni chidan shamba jig sung yor da de la uh kadam shung ba wa se ro kadam shung ba wa shung 
And then there is another way of um, following the practice. Uh, you can also follow a text that has all the qualities. Uh, such a lineage was um, has been present until these days. Uh, it's called Kadam Shumbawa. Uh, and um, Maitreya texts uh, are an example of such fully qualified texts that one can follow. Uh, it looks like these times it's a little more um, affordable, a little, a little more um, easier way to to follow the, to build the practice on. Lamala <laughs> Dalam <laughs> And then uh, if one follows a text, uh, it's not possible to follow a text without a teacher who can explain this text. So one needs uh, also a fully qualified teacher. And on top of that, it's very important to accumulate merit and to have a strong faith in the teacher. And to make sure that the text really has all the qualities. Uh, the example of uh, such a text could be, uh, it's in Tibetan, it's called Uta. In English, it's discrimination of the middle way and the extremes, I think, by Nagarjuna. And such a text can offer um, all the necessary teachings on the topic. But uh, we should be very careful because there are many mistaken texts. Uh, oh, sir. Okay, yes, sir. Then uh, it's somehow it's written it's Nagarjuna, but no, it's Maitreya, the um, oh. author of the text. Adinala Karasunguera, the Gomjev, the Gomjev, Gyunga Shigir, Gyunga, Shunia Gome Negola, Gyunga Yorela. So when one meditates in order to attain calm abiding, uh, there may be five faults uh, that prevent one from attaining. And we'll slowly go through uh, all of them one by one. And we'll start with the first one. It's laziness. It's the biggest obstacle for us. For, for whatever work we do, whether we meditate or we study or we do something else, laziness is the biggest obstacle. Uh, and 
chawa dunzi mangu pangu re se de chawa ngen shen se chawa le ga thanda men jor ba ta thanda chumbo men jor le ga din de ta ji um shine go men ne ga la ni lobjon chi a se re i jan so re pe ja movi movi da ya do so re o din de ta ni ma chom cham 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 do ya so re o din de on se ya wi inte ga ta de gom ja ben ne ga la do phat je cha go yor ni chawa ngen shen chawa chawa ngen ba ta khanda thanda me ben le ga din de ani la go kho ni ni le ga di short ho yo ro ang de kom ja ya di la lo jong chi ya chu chi ya kho ga di la do we me da de la de ne chao ngi shi ji le lo se ya di thang bo di res ro there are three types of uh, laziness we spoke about it last time uh, one is lethargy or inactivity the other one is attachment to negative activities and the third one is lack of self-confidence or self-discouragement so uh, in particular we're talking here about the second one attachment to negative activities um, like when we try to uh, to meditate and, and to um, to to attain calm abiding uh, we can automatically like engage in many useless activities like we want to watch a movie or we study english or we go for a walk or <laughs> we do anything that it what that feels good to us and it seems that it's uh, useful but in fact it becomes an obstacle and we're losing the precious opportunity to practice dharma this opportunity is being wasted <laughs> Nimbo stat, Janan, and then Yavang, Yavang, my diggy, Nimbo de la Nimbo Jesser, and the Lelola, and the Nimbo Sir, Lelola Nimbo Sir. So one should know uh, the antidotes. Uh, in general, if we talk about the five folds, there are eight antidotes to those five folds, and four of the antidotes belong to, uh, to, to the first one, to, to laziness. Uh um Delia Nimbo Shi Lelo Nimbo Shi de uh Jundegi Rimba Chikna Yamlingi Rimba Chizen Ying or Rata Tango on the Jundegi Rimba Chizema Tanga Jagu in Dasra. Uh in general there are two ways of speaking about this. One way is to speak about it uh, through logic of the cause and effect, and another way is to speak uh, through experience. So we'll go through the first way. <laughs> So I'll name all of them. The first one is faith. The second one is determination. The third one is perseverance. And the fourth one is suppleness. ま、ずたんだ南米社やけ、テベゲ、トンダタタリギオマレ、テベラエデラ。イジヨワカンシレヤ、シムナラ、タワ。タワ、ガベナバチコレ。ガワ、ガワレルハクチ、シンバトン。
the pleasure in the thought of practicing Dharma. And if you only translate it as faith and uh, you know take it for uh, as as faith only then you'll probably lose about 50 percent of the meaning that tibetan term has and that thing mong budo arwa and that thing mong budo arwa and then nang ba di nubjo la thang bo sa ba arwa and it chue gi chue di chik ba yimba sang ta je nang be chue di yishu gi chue dik na la pa gyu sha ba di pe chue chik do ta mong bo chik te chue di <laughs> there are so many words, and actually, since Buddhism is so new in the West, uh, you don't have you know, much choice but to use Christian terminology because it's the closest that we have. But in fact, the terminology that we're using. Um, is very different from what Buddhism puts into it. So we have to be really careful. And if we speak about the faith, uh, we can divide it into three categories. And uh, through those categories, you'll understand what this word refers to better. Tawasumdilla,ame um <laughs> So there are three types of faith. The first one is admiring faith. The second is trusting faith. And the third one is yearning faith. So first, admiring faith is you can you you have your own experience in that you probably all of you have met His Holiness Dalai Lama. So when you see him uh, in your mind, there is a lot of joy and um, like it's a pure delight. There is no suffering at the, at this moment. Uh, you sometimes even want to cry, but uh, not out of suffering, but out of delight of uh, seeing His Holiness. Um, sometimes it also happens when you see a Buddhist statue or you meet some other Lama you feel close connection to. So this such a pleasant, very light and very joyful feeling is uh, this faith of admiration. Uh, Tembani, Tembashi, Tombani Namsha, and it's a Lendre Namsha, that the Gavanga Namsha, and it's a Gavachana, Deva Yungur, Migavachana, Devu Tunga Yungur, Sat, Tombeg, Sungbati, Sung Sung de Monere, so Tombe Sung de Monere, Sungbanashi, Tola never re. Isa, that Tombati, Janta Vajresha, some Jane, Tombe Sung la Yichova Tela Dene, and Tombajan Dendela, Tawa Shuk Shambu Shuji. Uh, Shinetawa 
ตัวนั้นนี่ยี่จีเกนนี่ตรงบ่ล่ะเทวะเชนเนี่ยเทวะทวะเสียดิแต่ยี่จีเบเทวะล่ะดิล่ะงั้นตัวลบจงเชียด
and he he really he he felt so strongly towards uh, Jeremije towards Lamantzon Kappa. So whenever um, he saw his statue, he would always bow in front of him. And I was wondering, how come? Like well, he has never met him, so why why does he have such a strong feeling towards him? And then I myself I started studying, and I I've read a lot of texts. I I I tried to understand them, and even though uh, Lama Tsongkhapa is a scholar, of, um, he lived in fourteenth century. Um, we still have his legacy. We have lots of texts that he uh, composed. And after much studies, I myself started feeling uh, about him as of a close teacher, as if I know him. Because we every day study those texts, we recite them, we pray. And with such a connection that we create with those texts through our own uh, action of studying, mm, we receive those blessings. And for example, just recently, I received this very short text. It's only four pages, uh, but it's a very rare text, and I haven't heard of it before. But um, I have such a strong faith that it looks like my faith attracts uh, those texts, those pages to come to me. It's a blessing. Mama, the language of the letter, the language Mama COVID COVID condel chulung yudo job job je ra dar ve lingro maji pera ani lingro maji ngai shala peso ha ngala di lama zongo ba tip tip suk di peja di yara lingro maji ngala mara gune chola ras kane ras di tip tip jam jero maji ngip chip peja di je ma tip la soy yara book soy yara ngama ena peja loya dar ve ko tip soy yara Nala Razan, I tip the yet, Lingro Machin, I get the shallow head, Jenny. Chetty Charan Canerazan, Naramasons, and Amaragon, a chill rash. Just the desire and chick do her, the Lamala, you see the Tavar than you jero, you know. She lay, lay on, lay on the rotten. Yeah, Lingro before uh, COVID in 2018, Lady Mutia visited the center. And uh, at some point he came to my house and he saw on the, on the shelf, I have uh, quite a lot of texts and some of them are very rare. So I have like a collection of uh, Lama Tsongkhapa's texts. And he looked at them and said, wow, how is it possible? I, even I don't have those texts, but you have already obtained them. Like, where did you get them? <laughs> and I think it's it's the blessing that comes from faith and trust. You just start <laughs> getting those text information. Mm, Tabasinichi, Aranzo Mangbushi, Susanawa, the Moneri, Jindig Yorwa, till two day Yorwa. And Tomani turned there some dante, now Rare, now Nashi turned a dewy or Marie some dying dune. Zimbati shook chung chung to the Cosus Seminola. Namda, Tongate, the chung 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 to lay on the net, Tarbas in Egy. You said it, that the top naya would do so, that the Nalak, good, Nazar Mazer, and Inge some Semji Tamjela. And the Tower the Togo do some day. Ngondeji 
ที่เนี่ยก็เดี๋ยวละอันนี้จิตสมรู้ติดตัวเดียวจิตอะไรอาจจะติดเดียวจิตอะไรชงเลยใช่ไหมเส้นเส้นนั่นแหละจิตเล
Nimaching, Nimanism, the bear, Kalam and Savish, they took your tingins in loose sort of your. But what did they get tingins in? Don't do some well than a tingins in Ungura. And then um, when through practice you achieve a state of meditative stabilization, single pointed concentration, um, where when you can. Uh, stay concentrated on an object for four, five, or six hours, or even more. Mm. This is uh, the attainment of a particular concentration. Uh, these days, many people say uh, they have practiced camel biting and they uh, came to a result where they can concentrate for quite a while. And they say, I attain camel biting. But it's, it's not really... Uh, there is a the realization of karma biting, but rather a certain level of concentration that they have attained. Some people can even stay concentrated on an object for days without moving or without having to eat or having to do anything else. It's just a very stable concentration. <laughs> ま、ずたんだ、ゴムジャビ、ゴムジャニマで、で、カレシュドラ。え、ルイシンジャンタフサナンベ、ルイトネ、え、に、ゲワゴムジャヤだってんで、カレチヨマレベ、たんだ、
if I had such a state of mind where I don't have any problems uh, of mind and body, when I don't have any problems engaging in any virtuous activity, uh, then it would be really good. So when this thought comes uh, that I need it, I, I really, really need it because I see the benefit of it. It's it's called a yearning faith. Um, so it's when we feel that with this need, there's also a joy and a certain energy comes for us because we see the benefits. We really want to attain such a state in which we have this pure workability of, of body and mind. And then enthusiasm comes and um, we finally we attain this pliancy or suppleness of the body and mind. And the deep feeling uh, arises in our mind. This deep feeling is, is even, it's not even joy, it's more than just a joy. Um, I, I could talk about the um, specific terms in Tibetan, they're called musum and mushi, it's like possibilities of, uh, you know, one thing and uh, another thing having like common locus. Um, but it's it's a bit of a headache, so I I wouldn't go into this topic now. So that was it. And then you share your word, that's all. In in general, it's just good to know what um, a bliss or a joy means. That, dig, jumbo di ngazo. ผมเจอชีวิตมาอย่างบ่ลบจนเฉลี่ยจานชั่วโมงจนจินได้ยุ่งเยี่ยมมาด้วยตัวนะจินได้ยุ่งเยี่ยมแล้วก็เลยตั
but there is no benefit of course you you don't need to come but if uh, there is a benefit then it uh, brings you more enthusiasm and willingness to come to the class for example today you learned that a word like faith uh, is not what you have been thinking about it it's not uh, just you know it's not just faith that you are used to think about but rather something deeper because uh, buddhism has a different let's say flavor or taste to it so instead of from now on, instead of uh, using the word faith, you can think of the word, in Tibetan it sounds deba. So you can think of deba as something bigger than just faith. And if you didn't come to class, you wouldn't be able to, to learn about it. Uh, and then when you see the benefit and this joy and, and willingness and, and enthusiasm comes. And it's in general, it refers to any kind of work if uh, we don't see any benefit in work then we feel this laxity and boredom and not wishing to do that but uh, knowing benefits changes it all for example in my case i'm really lazy to study english i the the only reason why i study it because i see that there is benefit because my communication becomes better with people and I know that I need to make effort in order to, you know, to, to speak English better. Otherwise, if I don't understand this benefit, I'll, I'll just keep, you know, falling asleep when I study English. It's so boring for me because it's dry. <laughs> well, for you, it's probably the other way. You are bored when you study Dharma. For me, it's not like that. I When I study Dharma, I have so much, you know, so much energy coming. Uh, but I don't have this energy with English. So it, it all boils down to whether or not I understand benefit. No, the Lelo in Yimboshi ditched under Taba Dumbatundu, Dodan, the Shinjan, Samadana, and even a Lelo Lesha or Ramido, a Lelo guy, Yimbredo, a Tablan Kandaya, would a roar. So if you know those four antidotes uh, to laziness, then uh, they become really good methods uh, to kind of to rule your mind, to rule your habits. So that I'll repeat those four again. The first was faith. The second is determination. The third is perseverance. And the fourth is suppleness of uh, body and mind. だね、にわにわでからさ、だがじゃわさ、だがじゃわ。だがじ、すねからさ、だ、だがせでからさ、だ、うん、死ねごみんでね、みくばでんでてんでてんでちせ、ラマ、ゲゲゲゲゲゲ
the second um, of the five faults, the first one was laziness. So the second one is forgetting instructions. So it's when it happens when one meditates on calm abiding and stays, like, tries to stay focused on an object. But then there comes lots of uh, different thoughts and, and distractions. And for example, if, if a Lama gives an instruction on how to meditate on, on the Buddha, uh, so first one uh, looks at, a, for example, at a Buddha statue with open eyes and then closes eyes and then keeps this image with the eyes closed and this image just appears in, in front of us uh, inside our mind. And then uh, we lose this image. And then, um, like, what what do we do when one moment we keep this image and then it's gone and then it comes back and then it's gone. And so th there is a lot of distraction happening. Uh, some people, when they meditate, they tend to look um, at fire, for example. But it's important... Um, to keep an object in the mind. It's it's not our eye consciousness that has to be uh, kind of concentrated on an object, but rather it's our mental consciousness because we have different types of consciousness, right? So it's our mental consciousness that should do the job. And uh, it's in our mental consciousness we have to keep this uh, appearance of object, of um yeah, appearance of object. So how do we do that? We we have very strong distraction. All of us have it. So what do we do with that? That is, yaksho da nangaran zo ukjunguk toa ukjunguk mikbajia de ukjung uktu tangi weshi weshi pa tangi weshi weshi de la thanga jeb thanga ma jeb weshi de jeb toa. That is, in simba tempo so ya ke thamla yaksho de le tangan zo thang de ra. So the best method uh, to stabilize our mind, to make it very stable, is to train our mind uh, on breathing meditation, when we breathe in and breathe out and we count our breathing. So that would be the best method to make our mind really stable. <laughs> So the first antidote to forgetting the instructions is uh, it's called sometimes it's called mindfulness and or awareness. So temba in Tibetan mindfulness. Mindfulness has three qualities. Because ตัดดิภาเจเทยังจะตะยังสิมดามะเลยิงดูเตทําบาเจโรดาตัดดิยังจะซูเทเบซิยาเนดิเลยเทเบดิเลเชจูซุมยูเจวะเจโรยูจิ
And here comes the three qualities of this mindfulness. The first one is um, Yugi Kevar Yankatsu Suruna. You in Zikito. Tango de la U, Dinda, Chelela, Bra, and the near Yugi Kevar Chetandi, my delegation and Dira. Tango Tanga de la Viana. You Tanga lay in Cheta, the Yugi Kevar, the Inzikitola, Yapoch Gurgora, Narangi Gurut, that's cancer to it. Okay, Emily. Drunk Kandaji Koyung would do not take yours and you. Bena dinam do what? Turned out in this to Ada. You eat ever day? Migdin or Migdin Artonio, the Yigi, Yungo Shash in Georgia. Tila and Migwachi, the Yugi Chevar, Migwat. Okay, well, I hope it makes sense. So the, th the three qualities are uh, appearance and like bringing kind of bringing back the appearance in mind of what was what was before like what was observed before i guess that would be the first one but maybe uh, in the person mm. this translation maybe Yila shot in your shower, I eat. They tell not there's a comedian, similar shot to Marva, or Tomajim, they could the young say, young say, young say, Javina, young say, young say, young say, Javina, and the same on a part, the part jaura, bro, part jaura, part jamne, a septuor, Taganda, the quadivisioner, part chenita, part jabje, part jabdupe, part jabse, usual war. Tit don't be good, don't be good, she look good, Marta, similar shot in your good delta. You did. Mm. It's like it's like um, it's kind of a taken picture for you know for our mind of uh, the object we're meditating on. For example, if we meditate on on Buddha's image, we look at Buddha's statue again and again, and like we we remember this image. It, the image is like imprinted in our mind, and we save it. And it's not the outer object we're uh, meditating on, but rather on something inside our mind. So this is the first quality of um, of mindfulness, like appearance in mind of what was seen before. That and zindang kewa de karela yende migdeng nambat majeva chijerwa majeva ta pejena la. Turilare, Turiland Colors and Pena Petty, Petty, I would bear it, Petty, Mazo. Mazo Trogoto do color the Lamsan chain with a similar row. Trogotos none color Lamsan chain with our present chumada. Tinashi and Zindan de Narge, Migdin de number Majevich, young girl called Simnal, Sebu Sha, Sebu Sha to a chitinigi, and the Tinjaji letter Zindang, so Zindang. The second quality is not forgetting the appearance of the observed object. Um, and in in books, you can hear that it's it should be like an uninterrupted, uninterrupted, I don't know, continuum of, it, of this appearance, like an con continuously being able to see continuously. A good example is uh, if we're hungry, it doesn't take any effort for us to think of food. <laughs> so the same way we should uh, have this um, lack of effort of, uh, um, of imagining uh, the object we're meditating on. So it, be it really should become effortless and uninterrupted. <laughs> And the Dumbe Gula Mig de Tele Shinla, Chikangbada, Medoda, Tendela, Matrovachi, and Dumbe Gukra, Galane Junior Chile, Chambati Chile, Tato Chambati Chile or Kobe, Chile de Carosana, and Po. And the Tanda Sine Dubsena, Cham or the David Chambati Tembo Soda, Chambati Tembo, you know. And she need room with the home. And the third one. Is uh, 
the, the third quality of mindfulness is mind not being distracted, not wandering away. It's um, one of the main functions of mindfulness because through mindfulness, our mind becomes very stable. So the quality of not letting it be distracted is one of the most important ones. Oh, the chamber, chamber chaju some days, the day. Tangaji, Nimbo, Chambadre, the Chambogi, Tanda di Lama Mambo, the Chambogi, Gomja Dangar and Bastua, dear woe, come to Vienna. Tis some way a woe, the same as Shatu Vienna. And it sinek the gom the jaya, the put our shoe chag resum. So, um, the mindfulness is the main. It's the primary antidote for um, forgetting instruction uh, against forgetting destruction. Uh, sorry, forgetting instructions. And many lamas say that if you really understand and grasp this topic, how through mindfulness you can keep the object of meditation, you can keep your mind away, like keep keep without distraction. Then your practice becomes really beneficial and fruitful. Oh, ยังจะเป็นจะดีทันตลบเจนดีเงินสานกรมเจเกนะนะกรมดิเพ่เอ่อสวยบ่ดอกจะชาทุยนะนี่เป้อยากวยเลยแต่เดเนมาเอ่อ
think of that and then we pray well we dedicate the merit and then we we can see how different our meditation becomes because uh, based on knowledge it can become really joyful and it energizes us instead of exhausting us it gives us rest and power so it's uh, really important to know and to, to also to reflect on what we studied and I encourage you all to when you go back home and you do your meditation practice to also think about what we were saying today the third one the third of the five faults is drowsiness and agitation Simlan <laughs> Well, <laughs> So there are two obstacles, um, like the two opposites of uh, what comes in your meditation. Sometimes we feel drowsiness and it has the aspect of uh, unclarity, it's lack of clarity. It's when the mind is turned inward and it becomes really heavy and like we feel kind of sleepy in a way. And then the, its opposite agitation is when the mind is directed outwards and it's it gets distracted with uh, some outer objects. And this is something that you will. It, it's it's really easy to to speak about it. It's uh, it becomes more clear when you actually meditate and see it in your practice. That <laughs> And then when you meditate, you apply introspection in order to stay aware whether you have drowsiness or agitation in your mind during your meditation. Mm. <clears throat> so the third one was the third of the five faults was drowsiness and, and agitation and the fourth one is non-application of the antidotes um, antidotes uh, that read us of drowsiness and agitation and um, in this case what we need to do is to meditate on in Tibetan it's uh, the term tangyom it can be translated as equanimity but basically it's uh, staying in between the two extremes not falling into drowsiness and not uh, falling into agitation <laughs> Yang Jun Yorwa 
ยิ่งบุตรเตียนฐานะสิมดุฐานะชิวเลยสิมพาตังฐานะกบะเลยโยยินซะยะเดละเดละชีชินจวบะเดจวบะจวบะฮะจันชุกเฉทอมะเยบ
Sajimajimajimajimajimajimajimajimajimajimajimajimajimajimajimajimajimajimajimajimajimajimajimajimajimajimajimajimajimajimajimajimajimajimajimajimajimajimajimajimajimajimajimajimajimajimajimajimajim